In Old Testament Hebrew, Pesha describes the betrayal of a relationship, and since there are many kinds of relationships, a lot of different behaviors can be called Pesha. Like if two nations are in a relationship, we would call that a treaty, and Pesha would describe the breaking of that agreement. The same idea appears in an Old Testament law about theft. If an Israelite is away on a trip and somebody sneaks into their house and steals something, that's robbery. But if the thief was your neighbor, it's Pesha because there's someone you should be able to trust. Or there's a story about Jacob running away from Laban, his uncle. Laban accuses Jacob of stealing some idol statues. He searches all of Jacob's belongings and he finds nothing. So Jacob shouts, what is my Pesha? How have I violated your trust? But the sad irony is that the statues were stolen by Jacob's wife, who is Laban's own daughter. Talk about breaking trust. 